Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel and today we are doing what is in my clinical bag. Um, so every week um, during nursing school clinical I take this bag with me and I make sure to keep everything in there because I think it is every student's biggest fear to forget something at home and look really bad in front of your clinical instructor. So this is how I avoid doing that. I keep everything in this bag and also um, it's always so crazy early in the morning that I'm sure I would forget something. So just having everything in here and then being able to like put on things and like tuck things into my pockets while I'm driving to clinical is um, is something I do. But you know, don't be distracted when you drive, guys. That's bad. I do it when I'm stopped, okay? All right, so let's get started. First, I have my badge, okay? And this is a really cute little heart. I don't know if you guys can see it. I got this off Etsy and it's pretty cute. When I, I got this when um, nursing school started because we just got like a little alligator clip. And I was like, that's not cute. Um, so I got this badge reel because I really thought I love cardiology. And then I did a clinical rotation on a step down unit and I was like, cardiology is not for me. I mean, who knows where life takes me, but I don't know, the heart's pretty serious. <laughs> that's a lot of pressure. Anyways, that's my badge reel. Definitely always have to have this. Um, it's not a good thing if you don't have your badge reel with you. Speaking of which, um, we have on my Instagram page, if you guys don't already follow, I'm gonna drop it somewhere on the screen. Um, we are gonna have a badge reel giveaway with this amazing nurse. She has an Etsy page where she creates her own badge reels. So if you guys wanna win a badge reel, um, if you're a nurse or if you're thinking about going to nursing school or anything like that, please check out our giveaway that's gonna be coming up soon. Um, follow our page and you'll be seeing all the details on there. So the second thing I have is my stethoscope. I have a cardiology stethoscope and um, you definitely need a stethoscope when you're in clinical. Cannot forget this, this is like a big thing. Um, definitely clean it after every patient. I'm sure you guys already know that. And then I also have this little um, ring on here that has my name and like a little EKG, like just like um, the heartbeat symbol. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but yeah, it has my name on it. And that just prevents it from, you know, being misplaced and, cause there's only so many colors of stethoscopes. <laughs> The next thing I have is a notebook. So when I first got this, it was pretty thick and I got this from Dollar Tree and it just fits perfectly inside like one of my pockets and it's just easy to access. I throw in vital signs and um, I's and O's and all the medications that I have for a patient and need to give. Um, obviously at the end of every clinical shift, I pull out all this, all that stuff and put it into the little shred things. Um, you always wanna make sure you're HIPAA compliant. It's just really nice to have this, um, just so you always have like a list of all the things that you've done. So if you don't have time to document throughout the shift, you still have everything with the times. Make sure you always write times. I always have that in there. And yeah, pens, so many pens. Don't come to clinical without pens and come with a couple of them because some people might steal them. So you need pens and you can always spot the nursing student because they have like 10 pens in their pocket. <laughs> when you're in your peds or maternity clinical, I needed my watch to do respirations and to count like um, heart rate on those little babies. So don't forget your watch. Um, otherwise you'd have to just use time, but just bring a watch because you want to look good in front of your clinical instructor. I have long hair. That is one thing also that's my school is really strict on. You always have to have your hair up and tied up. So also like patients don't want like random people's hair on them, on their babies. Like 
and that's gross. So I just always have extra hair ties because I don't ever want there to be a day where I come in and I'm like, oh crap, I forgot a hair tie and then have to use like a glove or a rubber band that's gonna pull in my hair all day, so. Then I have a pen light and um, use this, you know, to do, to check people's pupils for pupil dilation. This has like a little thing that you can see how many centimeters it dilates or millimeters. <laughs> and then last, scissors. These are massive. I'm sure you can get smaller ones, but I ordered these on Amazon and they're cheap. So, but I keep these in my, one of my pockets, like on my pants, because this is so useful for cutting like bandages and also for cutting medications open if you're like struggling with opening it. Yeah, it's useful to have. Another thing that I would say that I don't have right now in my clinical bag is always have plenty of water and then several snacks because you don't want to be the person passing out, especially if you know you're going to be going into the OR that day. Make sure you grab a snack to put in your pocket and then also eat a snack before you go in and drink some water. Because, like I said, you don't want to be the person that passes out. That's just embarrassing, okay? And if it does, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that happened to you. <laughs> One of the best things that I've learned during clinical is just never be one of those people that's sitting around. Um, I know that is like the most frustrating thing to nurses is like don't come and waste their time if you're just gonna sit there on your phone or if you're gonna just sit there pretend like you're doing something when you're when they know you're not don't be that person like this is a chance clinical is a chance for you to learn and if you're there you might as well make an effort because the people that you're working around those are the people that could be involved in the hiring process for you later. And if they see you and they're like, oh, I remember her when she was a nursing student, like, heck, heck no, we are not, we are not gonna hire her. So yeah, don't be that person. Also like your clinical instructor, like to make a good impression, like you should always like just wanna help. So what I do is, well, like, so I'm assigned to a nurse. So when I'm assigned to a nurse, I make sure that I'm there like I go up to her at the beginning of the shift, introduce myself like, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna be um, with you today taking care of patient the patient in room 108. And like just instead of just standing in the background and then your instructor has to be like, oh, this is your student. And you're like, you're a grown adult. Introduce yourself guys. Okay. Just be really involved. When they see that you care and that you're interested, it they want to be able to teach you. A lot of people get standoffish when they really they you have this look like you don't care. You're like miserable being there. Like they don't want to talk to you if you're doing that. So don't like just be really interested. I've never had a bad experience with a instructor because I really make well, I've never had a bad experience with a nurse because I always make sure to be really involved and to be really interested in what they're talking about and ask questions and just really show that I'm interested in learning. And then they're happy. They're so excited to teach you. Then take notes while they're doing, where they're, while they're giving report. Introduce yourself to the patient. You don't want to be just a random person that walks in and just like walks out. Just go in and say, hi, I'm so excited. Glad to be helping take care of you today. Please let me know if you need anything. Going over the report with your nurse, if you have any other questions about any procedures that they have or anything that's coming up that day. And you know, if they like you, they might be like, hey, do you wanna go see their surgery or the procedure that they're about to get done? Like I'll make the phone call and you're just like, yes, I will do that. Which that's another thing, take every opportunity to go see procedures, surgeries, like anything because that might be one of the few chances that you get to see it, so might as well. So um, another thing is also help out the techs. Like they appreciate it so much when you're like, hey, I'll take vital signs for a couple people and I'll bring it back to you or I'll document it. And then they appreciate that. Also doing blood glucose tests, if you're approved to do that, you can do that as well for them, help them pass out trays. It's so helpful because usually it's like one tech for like 30 pa 15 or 30 patients. So. Um, when you're there and able to help, don't 
like act like you're better than someone or just because you're a nursing student. This is all teamwork. This, you are part of a team. Don't look down on anyone. Everyone is there for a reason and, and play a vital role. So help anyone who you can. Um, sometimes, so um, after I've done vitals and helped with blood glucose, doing breakfast, helping people and like setting up their trays and all of that stuff, um, if there's nothing that I have to do, like after I'm documenting and all of that, I will usually go and ask my nurse several times th throughout the shift, like, hey, do you get, do you need help with anything? Um, do you need me to check in on anyone? Like, do you need anything? And so they're usually like, they really like appreciate you asking, even though a lot of times they'll be like, oh no, like, I think I'm good, but thank you for asking. Like they appreciate that and it shows that you care. And I mean, you should care. You're, this is why you're going into the field to help people, right? Um, another thing is then like I ask like any of the nurses that are sitting by like hey do you need help with anything because like if you're gonna be there might as well be productive it'll make the day go by faster so um, usually like people appreciate it they might have like ask you to go weigh a patient or can you help me with a bed bath sure okay I'll do do that so all of these things just always be really proactive don't be sitting on your butt all day it's just gonna make the time go by slower and it's just gonna look bad on everyone like you'll meet like the most amazing people I have met like some of the most amazing nurses that are like that are so excited to teach and that are so excited for me and my future and so guys like this is like an amazing way to meet people in the medical field that can get you into places that you don't even know that you haven't even thought about so always make the most of your clinical experience it can it depends on like how you take it. If you're just gonna act like it's like a waste of your time and just sit around doing nothing, then that's one thing. But other for other people, like if they like really take it into stride and just really like, make the most of that experience, then they'll ex they'll enjoy it. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, your time. And I'm on break right now. Start back in a few days for my last semester of my BSN. I know it is super crazy. Time came by so, time went by so fast, but I'm thankful for it. And I can't believe it's almost done, but also I'm like, let's be done. <laughs> I hope you guys all have a wonderful clinical experience. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, don't forget to comment if you have any other questions or concerns and if you're starting nursing school also how your clinical experiences have been and any clinical advice you have for other people that are starting nursing school. Again, don't forget about the giveaway for a badge reel on my Instagram page. Um, I will put the handle in the description box. So don't forget to follow my page and you might win. Thank you guys for all your support. I truly appreciate it. Bye-bye.